It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted. <laughs> and slam dunks. Are you still basking in Dodger blue excitement and purple and gold goodness? Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon, also a proud fan of Titletown. And as Angelinos will be celebrating our winning teams all year round, I started thinking, what does it take to be a champion? So when Jake Bird from the Rockies organization dared me to take a swing, I said, let's play ball. The highest I've ever thrown is 96, and most good days, if I'm feeling good, I'm usually between 94 and 96 with my fastball. So I've heard more people think they can hit a professional baseball player's fastball. So Dana, I dare you to try and hit a fastball. Okay, I'm ready. I'm not scared of you, Jake. Okay, I'm ready. Show me what you got. Hey, better, 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 better. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. Oh, that is so fast. Okay, are you nervous? I don't, because I don't know what I'm doing. Is that all you got? What is this, Little League? I touched the ball! I touched it! I made contact! <laughs> I did it! I did one! I mean it was a it was a slow pitch, but I did it. 2018, I got my bachelor's in economics from UCLA, and I also luckily got drafted by the Rockies. How do you stay fit in between seasons? So I've just been going year round. I haven't taken more than a day off of throwing in a year and a half. This is literally everything you could need is here. Throw on the turf, get off the mound, hit off of a cage, all the right tools that you need. Rain is a baseball player's worst nightmare, and having a roof over a baseball facility is exactly what you want. Santa Clarita, surprisingly, is a huge baseball factory for quite a few MLB players that have come out of Santa Clarita. And um, that's why we thought this would be a great place to have a training facility to help develop future players. We opened up in January of 2020, and we were shut down, I think, what, the second week of March? And we've been shut down ever since. So it's been a struggle. The GoFundMe account, we're trying to kind of just maybe get a little support from the community out here. And you can click on there, and then you can donate as much as you feel like you can, and more, anything is appreciated. <laughs> okay, Jake, you can be honest. How'd I do? Pretty good. I mean, I threw it at your bat. <laughs> and it only took you like 10 tries to hit the underhand throw. But I made contact! Thank you so much, Jake. And by the way, that was an underhanded pitch. But I did touch it twice with my bat. And to be a champion, it takes mind, body, and soul. Remember the loss we felt when we thought professional sports were a bust? Now in this LA revealed how one local artist passed the time while the Dodgers were in a timeout. Opening day is great for fans. It's amazing because it's like the beginning of a new season. It's a fresh start. It's an exciting day for any baseball fan. My name is Eduardo Gomez. I'm a Los Angeles based artist and I'm a Dodger fan. It's like a miracle, it will disappear. Some major news involving Major League Baseball. We didn't know what was happening or what was gonna happen. You know, this is something that we haven't experienced in our generation. Sports is a multi-billion dollar industry and for it to be shut down um, had to be something, you know, scary. And, and, and it has been for everyone. We've never experienced this, everything stopped. I decided on opening day, instead of watching the game, that I was just gonna make a drawing. I wanted to challenge myself as an artist. 
and I wanted to keep myself excited as a fan. So I decided, let's just, you know, no excuses here. We're going to just roll up our sleeves and just go for it. Take it serious and, and you know, accept the challenge. Make a one Dodger every day until the season starts. The title I came up with was very simple, A Dodger A Day. These works I draw with my left hand and paint with my right handed, but I'm a natural right hander. In a sense, I'm a, yeah, I'm a switch drawer. The painting is all watercolor. I've utilized some ink and the markers and colored pencil as well, just to kind of get different textures in these, uh, in the works. I gotta be up at seven o'clock. It's already gonna be one. I work nine to 5.30, get home, eat, and then just have the rest of the day to make a drawing. I felt it was important to do Jackie first. He, he broke a lot of barriers and I felt he was instrumental to the series. Besides the Vin Scully and the Kirk Gibson, the first 42 are players of color. I felt it was uh, kind of a, an homage. It was also, in a sense, me taking a knee uh, where I wanted to kind of like bring up that discussion. And then George Floyd happened. Black Lives Matter! George Floyd! You know, the Black Lives Matter movement happened. I've been learning a lot about these players, researching them and, and picking images. And, and I saw that Glenn Brick was the first openly gay player. I decided to do his portrait, which so happened to be the last day of Pride Month. Uh, I think that's a discussion that needs to happen in baseball and all sports. Just kind of uh, becoming aware of this and, and not letting it discriminate people or players or, you know, we're all people at the end and, and we all deserve to do what we love. It's a challenge to balance everything, but I just have to make the time. There's no excuse. You know, if there's a will, there's a way. It's just a matter of setting it up and, and getting the job done. Sports help to keep us going, and Team LAU is just getting warmed up. Coming up, Happy Lunar New Year. We keep you in the know about what to cook. Plus, do the price of your medications make you mad? The online pharmacy that promises to cut the cost. And your ticket to ride when you're ready to take off. The local private jet that offers you a seat like a star. LA Unscripted, we fancy. everyone. So in Chinese culture, the ox is hardworking and honest, like us here at LA Unscripted. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jada Devon. And to keep you in the know, I'm even cooking to help ensure we all have good luck this year. The things I do for this show. is something that you, it's kind of like a must have for the Lunar New Year. They like sometimes they call it the Lunar New Year cake, but it's more like a dumpling than a cake. When like when Westerners hear the word cake, they think something sweet, but this is a savory dumpling. It's like a tamale, but instead of masa, you would use rice and you would encase pork belly and mung beans and shallots. Every Lunar New Year, you would teach a class on how to make this. I've been hosting uh, my own Bunchen gathering since 2013, but I grew up making this with my grandparents when I, when I was really young. The significance of Bunchen isn't just the, the taste, but it's just like, it is really like an annual gathering of women. And in my case, when I was younger, it's just aunties. This year will be our first year of uh, making bunjung virtually. We're going to be teaching bunjung to people from DC to LA, San Francisco, New York, Dallas, Houston. Go to the bunjung group, collective.com. We have the whole kit here. I can't even make a meatball. Do you think you can literally teach me? Take five of these banana leaves and then just stack them up this is like nature's saran wrap. Now take the sweet rice. So you're gonna take a piece of pork. Okay. And this pork is marinated with um, with uh, uh, black pepper and fish sauce. Now you're gonna put the mung bean and shallot. Take your twine. Look at how pretty mine is. 
What you're experiencing is uh, is the, the joy of making your first bunchung. I'm feeling much bunchung joy. I'm gonna use an instant pot for uh -huh. any pressure cooker. Okay. Um, for 40 minutes. Okay, let's try it. So mine's all warm, ready to go. Is there anything in Vietnamese that people say? Mo hai ba yo. Mo hai ba yo. I learned something new and it was actually delicious. Very good. It actually was really good. I mean, I wasn't sure with those leaves and things, but it was actually delicious. I told you we try all the things we feature here. And now our Megan Tellus takes on an in-home workout. Is it worth it? The workout only takes 12 minutes a day. Explain. It's an high intensity interval training. Yeah. Meaning like, is you need to move it as fast as you can mm -hmm. during short, periods of time, 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. So out of good news, out of those 12 minutes, six minutes, you are resting. It helps the muscle work their maximum, but doesn't have a bad impact on the joint. And we are gonna rotate side to side with control as fast as you can. Fast, fast, I want speed because Nucleus is everything about the speed. And now we are going vertically, full range of motion from your hips overhead. Show me what you got. <laughs> now we're gonna do it from hip to hip. Okay? 80% of the muscles of your body are working at the same time. Good, good, good. That is really good. I feel it in my core, but really in my arm. Thank you so much, Diego. Mwah, best is to you. Come on, let's go out. Let's go hard. Bye bye. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go. Want to share your fitness secret? DM us so we can feel the bird too. And now our crew, Olivia de Bortoli, safely out and about in LA to find out why our local community has a growing love affair with cactus. The easiest thing that you can do is work with a cactus or a succulent. You're talking about something that is not high maintenance that would probably be better off ignored than tedious care for. A lot of people love making the arrangements and, it, and that's a lot of fun nowadays is making a succulent arrangement or even I see cactus arrangements. I was inside and there are some things that I've never seen before in my life. Where do you get these plants? We travel all over the country to get these plants. We import some stuff from Europe, from South Africa, all over the world. Okay, let's get into this. What are you gonna okay. show me how to do? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repot this plant. As you can see, it's kind of busting out of this uh, out of this pot. And this is a Sansevieria. This is a very good plant, Sansevieria's gasteris, to grow indoors. So what I like to do is I actually like to take all the soil off of the off of the roots. Oh, wow. And just, just the naked roots? Just the naked roots. It's a succulent. So, okay. And believe it or not, if you happen to leave that plant out there, it would live that way for six months without being rooted. Oh my goodness, poor so baby. So we put a little screen over the hole to keep the soil in. What type of soil do you recommend? You want a fast drain of soil. And what we like using is, is staging rocks. And it kind of gives you that natural look. Like when, if you go out to the desert, you know, a plant just not growing out of the out of the ground. It's going to grow itself in a, in a in oh. a little crevice of the rock. I like this colored okay. one. So, and then just sprinkle? Yep. Yay, look what I made. It's really nice because we're trying to conserve water. We're really trying to focus on um, drought tolerant plants. And so working with cactus and succulents, your, your main focus is to help with the water conservation. Have a spot you want Olivia to check out? Connect with us on social media. And coming up, something else you can do online? Order your family's prescriptions for less. Who knew? Plus, when you're ready to travel, be part of the LA Jet Set. LA Unscripted, serving up all the things you need to know.
G'day guys, Luke Milton here, celebrity trainer and founder of Training Mate Fitness Studios. Today, we're gonna to talk about my philosophy on fitness. It's a healthy lifestyle. To achieve a healthy lifestyle, guys, we need to address physical health, social health, and mental health. All three of them equal. Physically, we need to move our body every single day and make sure that you're eating a nutrition plan that's had a life. Socially, call a loved one, guys, pick that phone up, or go and meet up with a mate. And mentally, make sure we address those first two points, and also, don't beat yourselves up so much. Take some deep breaths throughout the day, and really make sure that you're rewarding yourselves for all that winning that you're doing out there in life. For more tips just like that, guys, head over to mate2go.trainingmate.com. Scripted researches and scours California so you don't have to. Now an online pharmacy that promises to save you time and money. The truth is most Americans are overpaying for their generic prescriptions. Nine out of ten prescriptions in this country are generic and we have over 6,000 SKUs on our website. So we are ready, we want to help people save money. Let me give you an example. So the generic for Crestor, Resuvastatin, it's a popular cholesterol medication. If you don't have insurance, you go to the pharmacy counter, it's somewhere between $400 and $700 for a 90 day supply. At Honeybee, it's just $10 for 90 days. Confused by your copay? Honeybee is an online pharmacy that's giving patients access to wholesale pricing for generic prescriptions. Go on the site, search your medication, see the pricing, check out, we do the rest for you. The high-tech team behind honeybeehealth.com says log into their virtual world to help save time and money in the real world. So this is our Parada Max. It's our filling machine that helps us get to patients faster. This machine is the most accurate machine able to help pharmacists actually spend time with their patients more. To take the pain out of purchasing high-priced prescription drugs, today doctors suggest the one-of-a-kind site to all kinds of patients. Patients sometimes don't even take the medications we prescribe because they have to pay such a high copay. With Honeybee, I can literally check right then and there to see what their pricing is, what the generic form is, and electronically it goes through them and the patient gets it delivered to them. Users insist they save big bucks. I got my medication within a couple of days um, for way less than the price I was going to pay at the traditional pharmacy. I was going to pay 200% more at the pharmacy. Plus, contend there is no comparison to the Wi-Fi pharmacist customer care. A level of privacy here as well that patients really love. And so we ship things straight to patients' homes and we have pharmacists here calling you right after. They guided me through the process. It was very easy. It was within minutes. So to be health smart, go to honeybeehealth.com and see what the buzz is all about. So the site cuts costs without having brick and mortar locations, plus you don't need insurance since Honeybee buys directly from wholesalers. All right, moving on, more ways to save big bucks but still feel like a boss in this Trends with Benefits. Hi. Hi there, welcome to JSX Burbank. Thank you, how are you? Doing well, how are you this morning? Good. If I can just have you scan your photo ID right here, please. Okay. And place it face up in this tray. All right. All right, you're all set here. Hey Dana. Hi. Welcome to JSX. By the way, I happen to know that you have no weapons, no explosives, and no fever. How do you know that I didn't go through? We have a completely passive, state-of-the-art TSS security system. We're the first air carrier to have it system-wide. I don't have to take off my shoes, they don't go through my bag. Nope, you're already It's done? Fly. It's done. This is the lounge, Dana. You can go inside if you want air conditioning or heat, depending on the season, or you can stay out here at a nice social distance place. We've got coffee, we've got tea. Uh, it's all complimentary, by the way. What is your cheapest flight? Our flight started just $79. You can just go to jsx.com, buy a ticket, and go. $79, so virtually a private plane experience for commercial flight prices. I'm Jen, one of your pilots, and this is Miriam. Nice our to first meet officer. you. And our flight attendant today is Hi. Jen. 
now that we're socially distanced and on board, I'll take off my mask. Okay. We do require these in flight on board at all times, but since it's just me and you on the airplane, we'll do it like this. How did you find this niche? If you're going to the Bay Area or you're going to Las Vegas, whether you fly or drive, it's like four or five hours either way. That's not what flying is supposed to be like. You know, flying is supposed to be faster and more convenient and more pleasant. We acquired five airplanes uh, five years ago, and it was kind of an experiment. And we said, if we fly from private terminals in short haul markets, uh, will people come? They are coming. This looks like a private plane, but at commercial flight prices. We spent a lot of time and money completely gutting the airplane and putting in a whole brand new interior to make it look much more like a private jet. Do you know what the biggest difference is between commercial jets and private jets? No. Overhead bins. There aren't any. And that means there aren't people dragging bags up and down the aisle. No one's going to stand over you for two minutes trying to shove their bag in, breathing on you. <laughs> By the way, when it's time to land and you get off the airplane, even if you're in the last row, you're off in 90 seconds or less. One of the mission statements that you guys have is that you don't want to nickel and dime passengers to death. What do you mean by that? That's right. We bring everything complimentary, whether it's uh, snacks or beverages or even cocktails. Adult beverages are on the house here as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would love a sanitizing wipe. Cheers. Cheers. When you're ready to fly high, Jet Suite X jets off to the Bay Area, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Reno Tahoe. Now, we're out of fuel, but don't worry, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop and then be right here waiting for you next time. Seriously, you guys are my tip-top priority. Heart.